I think this is a great way to start our 2021. I think that they have a lot of fixing to do behind Donald Trump, but I think that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are the ones to do it. So um, I'm super happy. So it's, it, it's a woman there who can, who can represent us women and also represent us women of color. What does it say to all these you know little girls sitting at home today? You can do anything you want to do. That's what it says. Anything you want to be, anything you want to do. We have representation all over the border, you know, so um, shout out to all the women athletes, all the women advocates. I can't wait to be a part of the women's movement March 5th as that's International Women's Day. I'll be fighting on that day. So, you know, all of us women, uh, women need to come together and support each other and um, just make 2021 and, and, the, and, and, and the years to come be better years for women because we always get put on a back burner. And it's time for us to make ourselves be put in first place. The perks of being a two-time Olympic gold medalist, you did have a chance to visit the White House when President Biden was vice president. What was the experience like meeting him? There's that picture that went viral of you holding hands together. <laughs> well, that wasn't at the White House. That was actually in Detroit Got when I had met him. And um, he's just the sweetest and kindest guy ever. He's actually funny. He really is. Like, uh, he keeps a lot of his humor, I think, inside. But when I met him and he was talking to me, all I did was laugh. And I want to explain the picture of him holding my hand because people say a lot of crazy things about Joe Biden. Like, oh, he smells people's hair and all this crazy stuff. But we were, we went on stage together. But I didn't know towards the end, I didn't know till we had to walk out that we were going on stage together and that I would be talking with him. So when they said that he was getting ready to go on stage, I'm like, oh, you know, good luck. And he's like, you're you're coming with me. And I'm like, uh-uh. It was a large crowd and they had signs and it was crazy. So he grabbed my hand and that's the picture that, that they got because I, I didn't want to go. So he grabbed my hand and we walked out together because I was kind of scared. I was only like 19 or 20 at the time. So he grabbed my hand and he walked me out. And um, people just run with that. I probably was 18, honestly, probably 17. I don't know. But I remember him grabbing my hand for that reason. People made it be something that it was. But I think the picture is totally cute and funny. <laughs> we see a lot of athletes in the, in, the, in the Trump administration. He had a lot of athletes, former athletes, working in like an athletic council. Is that something that you'd be interested in if, if they wanted to pick your, your ear on, whether it was helping young girls, helping young boys, you know, whatever, develop athletically? Absolutely. I think that America is one of the countries that has the biggest problem with obesity. Um, and that's all over the world, you know, and I think that that comes from a lot of food consumption here. I think it's about teaching um, kids that they have choices on what they eat and what they eat will affect their body in the long run. So it's okay to eat a cookie or to eat McDonald's or to eat, you know, at fast food restaurants every once in a while. But some people do it every day and that's completely unhealthy. So I think it's about putting information in their, in their head that can help them to like, okay, today we're going to eat a salad, tomorrow we're going to eat McDonald's. 